And over the past decade, millions of Iraqi children have been orphaned by this war. And as the violence spirals out of control, CCTV's Jack Barton takes a look inside one private orphanage, which is trying to heal the psychological wounds of the children there. Iraqi boys learning to recite the Quran. They're just a handful of the five million children the Iraqi government estimates have been orphaned by violence over the past decade. Social psychologist Husham al Tabe volunteers his time to run this stopgap operation. He tells me it survives on private donations, usually in the form of food or clothing. Despite the financial hurdles, he tries to provide the 32 boys here with an atmosphere more akin to a home than an institution. This program helps the children after their shock. The shock makes the children want to be alone all the time, and it makes them aggressive all the time. This program can overcome these restraints by focusing on their talent. The boys are encouraged to express themselves through paint as well as dance and music. The children here all have horror stories to tell. Ahmed lost both of his parents to a suicide bomber five years ago. When I arrived, I saw this house and it was like paradise for me. It had everything I wished for. I learned music on the piano and also I am training in computer skills as well as the organ. So my life has changed. The children here hail from all of Iraq's ethnic and religious communities. The parents of some of these children may have thought of themselves as enemies, but religious differences stop at the door. Inclusiveness is considered key, along with encouraging these troubled youths to express themselves and to develop skills that will help when they leave. After they have learned to overcome antisocial behavior, they can be independent, they can live normal lives. Husham al Tabe says he tries not to think about the worsening violence in Iraq. He knows all too well what the consequences will be. More children left parentless who will need to find homes at orphanages, many of which are already struggling to cope. Jack Barton, CCTV, Baghdad.